Good morning, everybody. It is Margaret. And guess what I have for you today? Grad sale haul. Okay, I am doing a ride along too today. So, um, and as I was saying in my ride along, which you haven't seen because I haven't posted it, um, yeah, I know I'm buying more stuff. <laughs> my my thought process is you got to put yourself out there to find the stuff to get the stuff right. So that's what I did, and it gives me a chance to get away from the kids. The reason I qualifier is because I get a lot of people saying, why are you still buying stuff? Your shops are on vacation. You're in an apartment. You're not in your house. Blah, 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 blah. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. So good morning. Good morning. I see some people jumping in live. I went to a number of garage sales. Some of them, the prices were high. Some of the prices were low. So it was all great uh, overall. So good morning, Perla and Nini. Hi, Cheryl and Dale. Hi, Thrifty Christy Debbie. Hi, Neville. Hello, hello. Okay. So some of the stuff I got isn't jewelry, but I couldn't, I felt like I just couldn't pass it up. I know the camera's weird. I wonder if I can lift my seat up. Nope, that's as high as it goes. All right, I'm in the car too, because I figured last, yesterday I tried to do the haul and there were kids and cats and flushing toilets. I'm like, that's it. I'm gonna sit in the car and do it. And if I look in the wrong spot, I have the camera the wrong way too, so there's that. Okay, here we go, here we go. Um, let me know, are you guys going out garage selling today? Did you find anything cool? First garage sale, I can't remember, I'll have to look back. Hey Glenn, I'll have to look back and see because now I can't remember if I spent five bucks or 10 bucks, but I was vlogging it, so I'll go look. Either way, I did great. Oh, it looks good, 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 good. Okay, first thing, look what I got. It is a Coors, like cooler, a little lunch kit. Now. I, oh, you're listing. Oh, good. No sales there, Glenn says. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not normally picking up stuff like this, but I was like, wow, this is vintage. This is in like immaculate overall for vintage. Really good condition. Yeah, total vintage cores. I mean, it's in great shape. It's got a name on it. I might try to get that off, but overall, I don't think it's going to matter. It's just, I mean, really good shape. So I couldn't leave it. Oh, man cave. Good, good uh, keyword. Thanks, Glenn. Um, also at that garage sale, there was a lot of really cool vintage stuff. So I'm not into Barney, but Barney's not on anymore. And so these are Barney cookie cutters. So those will be good to go. And and some of this stuff may not be like really high, high sales things, but I like picking up vintage stuff. It was my beginning. Um, you know, it was five bucks for everything. So I remember thinking, oh, look, this was a dollar and then everything. Anyway. So it's a little Minnie Mouse um, diary, you know, like so. Little diary, Minnie Mouse, Target, <laughs> Target practice, Barney. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then somebody who's, who loves Minnie Mouse is gonna love that little journal. So also within that, I got this Rowenta steamer, and she said it was still working. She said she thought her mom only used it maybe once, which I believe, because it's in, I mean, it's just like, in new, almost new condition. And if you don't know Rowenta, quilters love Rowen, the Rowenta brand, like their um, irons and stuff. So I'm gonna see, I didn't look up the, the steamer. Randy may end up taking it, but there's a Rowenta steamer. So look up Rowenta if you if you are into that and if you're looking at that kind of thing. Um, yeah, Rowenta. Now also at this, one okay you need a steamer you hate ironing right so yeah um i got these razors because as i said before my uh my legs need attention so those are for me and um, but also at the same estate so i got these aladdin valentines yeah a lot of this will go on etsy and i cross post so but these are all except for rowenta perfect for etsy so aladdin valentines and then there were a bunch of loose valentines which i thought were fun look at this one here we go here's ken and barbie dancing you're fun to know <laughs> yep you're just my style oh anyway lots of different um, vintage valentines some of them you know which one is that i can't remember who she is i don't know anyway so mickey mouse ones and then in in here also were a lot of vintage um, cake stuff. So there's this owl. I have a whole box full of stuff. Pumpkins, witches. Um, there's another witch. Look at her. So kind of almost like that blow mold type of deal. More of that. 
uh, what else was in here? There were some little cake toppers or little cupcake toppers, right? Just fun little vintage stuff um, in there. So fun, fun, fun. So that'll be fun to go with. Um, and then worst case scenario, ooh, I didn't see Catwoman. <laughs> There's Catgirl. You're a, you made, you make a perfect Valentine. Ooh, I like her. Okay, cool. Okay, so all of that stuff, I, again, I need to look back at my vlog because it's been a long morning. It was either five or 10 bucks for all of this stuff. Either way, it was a great deal. Hang on, let me put this back in the box. I'm still getting used to Austin. <laughs> and apparently vlogging or garage sale falling in the car. Hang on, let me get this back up here. <laughs> it's live from Margaret's lap. There we go. I missed a question that came in. Hang on. Um, yeah, you can tell, sell t-shirts on Etsy if it's vintage. Um, I uh, I know Charming Charlie Neville. I, I've heard uh, a jewelry, yeah, Charming Charlie. That's a shop here. So I don't know if it's different there. Okay, next up, I got these two things for two bucks. So this is a, a Flor Florentia box you know just like a little and I'm trying to decide you know even though it's got some condition if issues maybe sell it but I'm gonna I'm planning on doing more sorry I keep looking over here that's normally where my camera is um I'm planning on doing more lots and so I'm looking for things like props to, to use so this might be something I use for a prop so that was two bucks and then she threw this in it is I don't even know something a vintage rattle or a prayer thing or is that what that is I don't know it is if you know I'll hold it still so you can see Tibetan or Bali or Thai so it's it's Eastern for sure is it a rattle is it a prayer thing I don't know but she's like I don't know what that is just just take it okay okay <laughs> what's next let's see what I want to do next um which one this, okay, that's from a different garage sale. I'm trying to group them together because I had a really good haul at one of them. Two of them, actually. So I'll save that. So at one I went to, I actually ran into Emerson, if you guys know, if you if you know who the Bonafide Picker is, our Bonafide Hustler, what's his name? Bonafide Picker? Bonafide <laughs> Hustler, sorry, don't tell him I said that. Um, Chris, Bonafide Hustler, his brother is Emerson. So I ran into Emerson. Um, I didn't get any images or whatever, but anyway, at the garage sale where I ran into Emerson, the lady had a bunch of jewelry and she was like, it's 25 cents each. So I was like, well, let me just buy it all from you. So I spent 20 bucks on this big box full of stuff. Now she makes jewelry and she said she was quitting making jewelry like this because she was learning silversmithing, which I'm excited about. But it was cool stuff. I mean, there was, you know, like necklaces like so... Here's another necklace, if you can see it. And then she had lots of, you know, things like, like this. And my, my thought was, if I, you know, if I, if it's not something I want to sell individually, there's some pieces that I'll want to sell by themselves, but then some of them I can use, um, like if I want to throw in a free gift for one of my sales, these would be perfect or oopsies. <laughs> If my boys are wanting, you know, to harvest things for their, for their crafts, for their stuff. Like here's a cute bracelet she made. It's got a little heart. Can you see it? So it's, it's a box full of stuff like that. All right. That's cool. Anyway, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. So, um, that was 20 bucks, which I thought was a pretty good deal. It's really full of stuff. You can see. So there's that lots of goodies there and then okay which one do I do next I've got there were two more at the sales that I went to I'm trying to decide which I should do okay I went the last place I went to the stuff is in this box this house was incredible I mean totally mid-century modern every time I turned around I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh the house was for sale. It was an estate sale. And I was like, well, how much is this house? We're, we're in the market. Um, and she's like, oh, it's listed at 900 something, but they're willing to come down under 800. I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> 
but everything was so expensive. I mean, there were figurines that they had for 50 bucks. I mean, they were cool, but, and even as I was there, she was looking up a vacuum cleaner, like to see what the selling price knew of this vacuum cleaner was. I was like, oh great, I'm not gonna be able to buy anything here. Well, back in the one of the bedrooms, they had all of the jewelry laid out on like a window seat. And so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna start. I grabbed a little basket, which I think the little, little basket might actually be worth something too. So this is a little basket, isn't it cute? Um, and I started filling the basket up and then it overflowed into a, a shoe box. I was like, I'm just gonna do it. There's no prices. I'm just gonna like start filling it up and just ask her how much. Guess how much. If you're here, if you're watching live or if you're watching later, guess. So I've got a basket full and then some other bits here. Guess how much all of it was. I don't see anybody chatting. That's okay. 25 bucks? Lower. Lower. I was like, really? Lower. 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 Five bucks you got a Picasso Cat Treasure. Five bucks. I couldn't believe it. I was like, really? Everything else was like 50 bucks, 200 bucks. Five bucks. I almost dropped. I was like, yes, please. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I got. <laughs> so first up, we got this big old brooch. Yeah, five bucks. <laughs> it made me feel better because my next one I spent like 50 bucks, but it's all worth, worth it. So this is a brooch and I can't see. It says joy on the back, but look at that big old flower. Okay, wait, there's some really cool stuff in here. There's this brooch. I mean, easy money making back. So, oh, I missed what you said, Neville. Were you talking to me or somebody else? Okay, um, okay. I missed what, can you answer me back about drop shipping on, um, anime, um, retype your question because it's hard for me to, yes, you can do some drop shipping, but I have to explain more specifically. So there's that. I'm trying to decide if it's, it's missing a couple of the, Aurora, uh, these are like Aurora Borealis, but they're right there. I don't think it's going to matter. It's so cool. Okay, look at this funky bird. I call it a goonie bird. Look at this goonie bird. Ready? Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, and it's... I don't see a mark on it, but this is the back. I'll have to look it closer. Right? Five bucks. I couldn't believe it. And then this bracelet with all the coins on it. We just had one of these recently. Somebody messaged me about it. And I'm in the move. Yeah. And this is another one that's got coins from all over. Drop shipping from China. It depends on what it is. Um, I'm not so sure. I know somebody who does something similar, but I'm not so sure about that. Um, okay, so these, I have to look up this brand because I think I've heard of this. This is, I think, a high-end costume jewelry brand. These ones, if you can see, this is wood in here set into that right? I don't know if it's picking it up really well. So these are wood pieces right there. And then here's the brand. Oh, it's very blurry. And it says Berger, B-E-R-G-E-R-E. -E -E, and there's an accent over the one of the E's. Anyway, so those ones, I'm gonna have to look that costume drawer and they feel really heavy. They feel like quality. Okay, still all of this was five bucks. This beautiful cross and this is MMA not mixed martial arts but Museum of Modern Museum of Modern Art maybe or the there was another museum recently <laughs> um, and then sterling you think ebony I don't know it's bright and in in person it's more brown than it looks you see the brown and then there's like grain lines um, of black so I don't think it's ebony. I'm pretty sure it's wood, but I'll double check it. It's hard to, it's hard to see the color for you guys. So that's a sterling, but um, it's probably like a Vermeer Museum of Modern Arts, right? Okay, good game. Um, okay, then also we've got this. Oh, maybe a petrified wood. I'll have to double check that. That would be awesome, right? This cream colored butterfly, no maker's mark. Do I ever rest? <laughs> this is my rest. Cause I, you know, I homeschool the boys, so I'm with them all the time. So this is my chance to get out, go shopping, have some time to myself. 
uh, and then talk to you guys because because I don't talk to anybody else. I don't have grown up people, friends yet. Yeah. You thank you, Lord Ahab, for answering that about drop shipping with the shirts. Yeah, I um and this is I don't know, this is fun for me. So just looked up the Rowenta steamer, Francis says, and it runs for about ninety dollars on clearance. Yay! Okay. Well my husband may not have it. I'm going to sell it. <laughs> it will pay for everything then. <laughs> okay, so then look at this kitty. So this is all still with this five bucks, right? So this really cute kitty brooch. Like so. And there's some kind of marking down there, but I can't. Uh, maybe that's a mark or not. I don't know. So there's that. We're still going. Oh, I was going to try to open this up when I was there, but I didn't. So it'll be a mystery. We ready? So there's this. What do we think this is? I don't know yet because I haven't opened it myself. I was like, like ah, that's it. I'm just going to throw it all in there. Let's open this. What is it? It is, I think... I think this is, let's see, is it a file in there? I think this might be for striking a match. You think it, you think it's a nail file? Like, it's not very filey. I think, I wonder if it's for striking a match on. What do you think? That's my guess. It's an oddity. <gasps> Cocaine snorter. What, you think? I mean, like... <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is interesting. And then it slides back in there. Um, which one, Lydia? I was like, Wilted Magnolia. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, it's not, I mean, I could see where the file thing would, would come in, but it's not really good for filing. So my guess is for a match. But where do you keep your matches? I don't know. Okay. Still all within the five bucks. <laughs> This is a bracelet, <laughs> like so, and I don't see a maker's, oh yes I do, what does it say down there? I may have to hold it up for you to help me. Pool tip filer, oh, you think a, a pool tip wouldn't fit on that, it's too tiny, unless it's something else. Okay, here we go, can we read it? I would look it up on my phone, but you are on my phone. No, I can't read it. It says something. I can't read it. Uh, good morning, Marsha. Nope, I can't read it. I'll have to look it up later. I was so surprised with all the crazy expensive prices that they had that that their jewelry was so, so cheap. Look at this cat. Like a panther or something, right? This one is also marked slam. Can you see? Anyway, it's a slam, and then there's this, like, pyramid-looking thing right there. I'm going to have to look that up. Keep that. So, still going. We got this cross as well in there. Could you believe it? And then this, she must have liked to order out of those museum catalogs. This is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. There we go. I bet that's what the other MMA was. Metropolitan. Because I was like, it's not really modern art, right? So, this says Metropolitan Museum of Art. You know, they put out those catalogs. My mom gets the one, she might get this one too, the catalog, but she also gets like the Boston Museum of Art. And um, so they put out catalogs that have, you know, cool stuff, cool, really pretty stuff in it. My friend who goes by the lioness would love that. Isn't it sweet? I mean, it's definitely owning it, right? She is the master of all she surveys. All right, then there's this, which has kind of got this Macintosh rose on it. I think that's like a Macintosh. You know what I'm talking about, the Macintosh rose. Really kind of art deco. You said slam or siam? Let's look again. I, I think it said slam. Where'd it go? Yeah, that's a... It is a capital L. I don't know if you can see it. It says slam, S-L-A-M. Let me open the pin. Maybe that'll help. Come here, Pin. I'm opening you. Now the sun's going to shine so you can't see it. Can you read it? Can you read it? Uh, yeah. It's a... Yeah. Slam. Mm. Siam would make more sense. Maybe. Alright. So this is like a sweater clip. Or a... Yeah. St. Louis Art Museum. Maybe. Maybe. 
since we're going with art artsy stuff and this this place had amazing furniture and art lot, lots of art for sale like original art pieces uh, this was just a random disc that was in there brooch disc then we've got a really cool flower let me pull it back so you can see it here in the Sun so this is what it looks like in the Sun back here um, no makers mark but gorgeous still can't believe I got all this for five bucks and then we've got this broken necklace but it's fixable with these glass beads on them you can't really see them because of the Sun let me see if I move my visor is that gonna help not really there we go beautiful glass beads and yeah I mean this is fixable those beads are awesome I wish you could see them better can you see them a little bit like so okay still going still going we have got a fish bone brooch <laughs> fish bone no maker's mark that I can see we have this which I think is a piece of like agate maybe I'll have to look up the kind it is oh wait wait for this oh my gosh look at this one look at this frog <laughs> it's like you can have it this climbing frog on your jacket or something and then it is marked ooh what does that say it's it starts with a Z. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Double your money, right? Um, Z I R K U S. I have never heard of that. Z I R K U S. Zirkus. Whatever you are, you are fantastic. Then we've got a brooch. It's one of this style brooches, and it's marked as well. Y'all, I've got to find my loop. <laughs> Looks like one you saw in your window, the frog. Yeah, there's a, a a label down there, but I can't I can't read it. I have to find that loop, y'all. <laughs> it has got to make up with my magnet. Then a ring, sort of a art, you know, free flow sort of look, and it looks like it looks like it's trying to be. Yeah, it's tiger's eye. So a bit of tiger's eye on there. Oh yes, hit the like button. So like so. Circle pins were all the rage in the 60s. Thanks, Beth. Um, and this one is marked as well. I'm trying to rub it so I can see better. You guys, I've got to get something for my eyeballs to see better. Hmm. I can't see it. So there's something written along here. It's quite a bit, but I can't. Nope. I can't read it, unfortunately. All right, then this is a bracelet that's got these coins, like Egyptian coins and scarabs on it. Morning all, Barbara. <laughs> Hello. Jewelry, lots of jewelry, and it just kind of hooks like so. So it's not really a strong, you know, closure, but it's really cool bracelet then we have this ring can you I, I'm still like I can't believe I got all this for five bucks this ring um, and I don't see any marks on the back ah, I just dropped it in my lap so there's the back it's not super fancy then this one kind of looks like a JJ piece but it's not marked it's got two coyotes under the cactus Oh, it is Mark JJ. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. I was like, it looks like a JJ piece. Johnette Jones. Johnette Jones? Is that right? That's right. Johnette Jewelry. Johnette Jewelry. Oh. Okay, so it's marked a JJ down there. Okay, then there's a couple more. This Jaguar with green eyes brooch. And I think Joanna posted something like this in the group recently. I found a. Hers was a necklace though I think I found one that's more articulated than this before like a shoulder crawler maybe hers wasn't I can't remember now sorry um but his tail swings anyway so cool on the Jaguar I'm looking for a mark no mark 
So there's that. Wait for this. Okay, this is an, a big copper and brass pendant brooch of a oak leaf or a big leaf. I don't know that's an oak leaf. And then look, look at this belt buckle. This is a belt buckle or yeah, belt buckle. Look at it. Belt buckle with this big, are you really? I'm trying to tell if it's like plastic or glass. It's hard to tell. I think it might be plastic, but it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's plastic. How does it feel? It's not cold to the touch, but it looks like it's trying to be like an amethyst. But yeah, that's, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm almost positive plastic on this one. Yeah, yeah, sounds plastic. But when I picked it up, I was like, ooh, that's trying to be like amethyst. So belt buckle. That was my $5 from that garage sale right there. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, five bucks. And I got it on camera, okay. Okay, so then, then the next one I went to, there, were, there was a house, she had lots of stuff. There were two ladies that were, um, Circus seems to be MCM jewelry. Oh, sweet, Jen, thank you, thank you. Um, if you don't know what MCM, that stands for Mid-Century Modern. So I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm learning new things. The next garage sale, there were two ladies that were selling, so they had to separate out from them which was you know whose was whose so first let's do the first first one's first i think hers was 15 15 okay i'll have to double check so 15 only this much only this much <laughs> but that's okay watch okay so here's the first bracelet so that's pretty cool just a nice hook you know type of bangle and then we've got this heart, like so. And it's not marked. I don't know that it's, it would be sterling silver, but it might be like an alpaca silver. I'll have to double check it. Just on a string, but it was very cool. I mean, I think that right there could be 15 bucks. Personally, then I'm a sucker for cloisonne. So there, oh, you're hooked on there again. Darn it, Tangles, I don't like you. You get to come over here. Okay, so I've got this necklace that's got all these really pretty cloisonne beads and other beads on it. Hang on, let me hold it back. So it's like I want to get it close so you can see it, but then the sun is in, in your eyes. There's this. Go hit the thumbs up, you guys. Go hit the thumbs up. I'm, the best is yet to come, believe it or not. Uh, oh, you like? Yeah, send me an email. My husband is setting up the printer as we speak so I can finally start selling again. Look at this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. Okay, when she said, well, this one is five bucks by itself, I was like, oh, yes. Look at this beautiful, beautiful necklace. Okay, somebody has created this beauty and just put all kinds of fun stuff on it. I'm going to show you. We have, am I going to be able to do it over here? Well, maybe back right here. How's that? We've got a crucifix and then we've got Buddha. I'm going to go in order. We have a locket. We have, oh, they might be champ, champ live. I don't know if I'm saying that right, beads. I'm gonna, I'll double check that. I'll go back and look. Hang on. Lydia is saying that. So much like cloisonne, can't spell. Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up. So then we've got another fish bone, maybe the fish bone. We've got a key. We've got a dice, which might be, um, it might be Bakelite. I'll have to look at it. We've got a crystal. We've got an amazing locket with this cameo on it. It's got a, it's hard to see. It's got a girl riding a chariot in front of the, what is that, the Pantheon? Where is that? I don't know. Anyway, it's a chick riding on a chariot. Do I think this is a real one? No, but it's beautiful. Then we've got, wait for it, we've got Ganesh. We've got a cameo of Ganesh. We've got a Mahjong tile. <laughs> we have a blue crystal, a little, um, I'm trying to see what I think this is. I haven't rubbed it to smell it or anything. I'm rubbing it, hang on. Mm, I can't tell. A little teeny domino, another locket with a cross on it. Then this sort of 
Asian, I can't remember what this is made from, like a fetish necklace, yeah, and then a medal from a swimming meet or something. <laughs> Isn't that wild? But it was so cool. She was like, this one's five bucks. I was like, sold. It's awesome. Yeah. So, <laughs> And then in this baggie, this is broken. It's all broken pieces, but there was one thing in here. I was like, that is coming with me. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is the reason I bought that. Look at this little doodad. It's a bat with all of these little things hanging off of him. I wish I could get and cover it up for you so you can see it better. See him? Little bat. I thought he was cool. So, and it was in with all of this stuff. But, you know, my, my kids are getting into making stuff. So, like, little pieces like this could definitely be stuff that they go after. And this other necklace in here might actually not be broken. But it's just all stuff. All stuff. Oh, I missed the comment. It's <laughs> Mad Fortune Teller from the 1800s. That's right. That's right. Oh, wait. There was one other thing from this haul. So, this was another piece. Um, and this is a silver... And it says Onyx um, bracelet with the little moon and stars. Now, it has the original tag from Mervyn's, if you remember Mervyn's. For, it was 35 bucks, yeah, from Mervyn's. So, hey, hey, go over there and hit that thumbs up, you guys. You know you want to. Rub it for good luck. <laughs> it will bring you luck. Yay! Okay, so now, the last one I spent... Oh, well, this is from the same one. Okay, so from the other lady at the same garage sale, I spent $50. 50 Um, Hey, Adam. Um, and so I'm going to show you the first two things I, I spent $10 each on, and I was happy to do it. So the first thing I bought this um, cast metal, like a little ice box. So it says Alaska on it. This was $10. This is probably going to stay with me. Um, I'm going to use this maybe as one of our my props for when I do, um, I don't know, lots or something. Or it'll just end up on my shelf behind me when I do videos. Um, so, isn't it awesome? And the lady that sold it to me, she said it was her. She was in her 80s, like well into her 80s. Hey, Bougie Bear. Um, do you by chance wear jeans with... I own, I think, maybe two pairs of blue jeans and I, no, just a no, that's the answer. <laughs> um, so, isn't it amazing? So the lady was like, yes, this was mine, I loved it. Yeah, cast, and you can see it's even got like the old screws. Um, she said she loved it so much, and I was like, well, I'm gonna love it too, so it's coming with me. Ta-da! You can hear it. So I said I was happy to spend the 10 bucks on it. And then I also spent $10 on this, which again is a little writing desk and it has the initial N on it and it's metal as well. You can hear. Um, and so this part flips up and you would have like the paper and envelopes and stuff in here. And then this, I don't want it to fall on my fingers. This part flips out and then you would have, you know, the bits in here and then here's a, a flat surface. So we got some Gallagher's. New York City to the bone. We got some matches. We should try that other thing out and see if it, like, we will. We're gonna try it out and see if it lights a match in that thing. So, uh, don't follow me. Um, so this was $10. And again, I was happy to pay it because this is gonna be for, no, for Nelly. <laughs> nah, it's my Nelly. <laughs> we'll change my name to Nargret. Nargret here. Um, <laughs> so I'm either, you know, I'm gonna keep it. And maybe use it for um, images or just keep it because it's awesome. <laughs> um, and that one, okay. I am finding a lot of really cool vintagey stuff, right? From what year, I wonder? I don't know. I can't tell if it's a reproduction, but if you look at the painting, it looks like the painting on it is, is hand done. Um, you can see the brush strokes. I'm trying to get where I can see, where you can see it. But you can see the brush strokes and stuff on there. Let me show you the back. So here's the back. And then the bottom is kind of, not exactly felted. Mm, kind of felted on the bottom. Right, there we go. Okay, so there's that. Stupid, oh look, it's almost like a, now that I'm seeing it in the light, 
I thought it was a brown, but it's almost a green color. Can you see that in the light? Like it's almost a green, like green, yeah. So it's like a dark green, really. Oh, that is so cool. Cause then it looks kind of brown from another light. But when the light hits it, when the sun hits it. Okay, so that, that was 20 of the 50 I spent with these, this other lady and I bought some more jewelry. <laughs> I bought some more jewelry, just wait. <sighs> Let's take a sip of water. Oh, we were gonna light that match. Let's find it. Let's see if the, let's see if that thing is for lighting matches. This may be a horrible idea. Live from the car, lighting a match on a maybe match thing. Or as Wilted Magnolia says, cocaine's never. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm ready, let me turn the light, I'm turning the fan off in case I need to blow it out, ready? Let's see. Strike away, Margaret. That broke. <laughs> okay, come back here, you. I need a new match. <laughs> There's a similar writing desk on Etsy for, for 140 bucks. What? Okay, maybe it's going for sale. Okay, ready, <laughs> set, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> there goes my husband and kids. Okay, so nope, or else the matches are bad, one or the other. That's, there's two options on that. <laughs> Either the matches are bad or Wilted Magnolia is right. <laughs> so these are going back in here so I don't accidentally set my car on fire. Come here. Here, get back in there. Old file, maybe it's old, yeah. Okay, matches, you go in there. Okay, let's look at the rest of this jewelry. Here we go. Ah! So the rest of this, what did I say? That was, so the rest of this was 30. I was happy to pay it. Here we go. First piece. Ready? First. Ask the homeless guy about it. I I did have an episode. I don't think it was an old guy for snuff. Maybe it's for snuff. Yeah. I had a dude at this garage sale. Like I was looking. The you know the lady had this jewelry out, and he came up over my shoulder, and there wasn't any space because she was sitting here, and the jewelry's here, so I'm standing here, and he comes this way, and he's like literally touching me over my shoulder and the woman even says are you with her and I said no he's not with me you know and he's and she tells him you know she's looking just wait just wait a second and he's like I want to see that white necklace but if I could only just get to it you know and she's like and I said something like well you're really invading my personal space I have personal space issues um but he was very aggressive <laughs> so that was not fun dude back off I was happy she said something though. Okay, first piece, here we go. <laughs> uh, hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks. So next one, we've got this. It's woven, it's got these beads, and then it's got these coins. And then look at that. Isn't that amazing? I'm trying to get it where you can see up close. Like so. The backwards N might be Russian. Oh, you know what? And maybe it looks backwards because I'm on the phone, but the N is is it backwards? No. In on the are you talking about the writing desk? Um I don't know if it's flipping it cuz I'm on my phone in the car or what. Okay, it's cloudy now. Well, I thought it was cloudy. Isn't that cool? Okay, so this was in the 30 bucks stuff. Um so it may look like it's backwards, but it's not really backwards. Okay, next is oh, bonus hair. Bonus hair. Can you see it? There it is. He did not. I mean, eventually, he backed off a little bit, but he kept coming. He kept, like, trying to reach over me. What's on the coins? I think they're, I don't know. So, there's this. I let him have that white necklace, too. I let him. Thank you. And it looks like maybe Arabic. It would not go over well in the South. I'm too blunt. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, I, it, okay, if I'm, I'm hopefully not insulting somebody, but it looks like Arabic. It says 1877 to 1977, or is it Russian? I don't know, that's not Russian, I don't know. Um, who is that dude? Can you see the writing down here? So there's writing down here. I'm trying to get where you can see it. That is writing. And then there's some on the back. Tell me what you think. Uh, I don't know that you're gonna be able to see it because it's not really focusing for you. Maybe Moroccan? Could be. If only it would be in English. No, I'm kidding. 
I'll find out who this dude is, right? But isn't it gorgeous? That's what I'm finding around here is that there's a lot of like well-traveled people. So this, you would have bought that necklace out of spite. Yeah, I just don't know. I've had so many run-ins with people here. Um, that's from Ukraine. Oh, thanks, Jen. Oh my gosh, thank you very much. Um, so we've got this. But it's not Arabic. Okay, okay, cool, cool. See, this is what I don't know. The, the, I don't know what I don't know. So there are a lot, this is all kind of tangled up, but there are all these little pendants with the green stones. It's not Arabic. Okay, good, thank you. Um, and then some more little green um, pendants. So lots of little green pendants, which I don't know what they are, but they're beautiful. Here's that. And then this really heavy, I should have been wearing this, maybe due to back off, boom, like that. This really heavy, it's a stretchy bracelet, but look at how, I mean, that is, <laughs> that is brutal for sure. I mean, if you want to talk about brutalist. Yeah, Hope for Jade, I don't know that it is. I don't think it is. Um, yeah, this is really kind of a brutalist, modern, heavy bracelet. So that's going to do well, I think. The next, do I get paid for doing it? I do get paid for doing this. I sell this stuff, so I get paid by selling it. Um, it was on QVC this morning, was it? Awesome. <laughs> I, don't know, I think you're joking. Okay, so then this necklace has got these blue, um, I'm guessing it's sodalite. I don't think it's uh, lapis, because lapis is blue. But sodalite is too. I think this is probably sodalite with all the white, you know, um, in there. That is my guess. Because if this was lapis, I think there would be a bit more black in it. I think. So there's that. Uh, on this really tight weave necklace like so. And I don't see any marks. Ta-da! So there's that. Okay. Then next up. We've got another just little necklace with these, oh, what are these knots called? There's a name for this style of knot and I can't remember what it is. I'm sure my husband will know, I'll ask him. And I can't, tag, there's a tag as well. <laughs> I will find my loop or buy a new one. This is my, this is my pledge to you. It does not say A, because it looks like a C or a G at the front. I can't read it. If that's the tag. We'll find out later. Okay. <laughs> and then this, I love funky stuff like this. Hang on. It's tangled up on the hook. So this is the this is the hook for it on the back. And then this is the front. Did you look up the necklace sign art yesterday? Saw some selling for a hundred bucks. I didn't. Um, I have not. I have not had time, but definitely it's on my to-do list. Look at this guy. So this is definitely mixed metal. I love picking up and selling stuff like this. Mixed metal, brutalist, etc. Style. This is an ex well, maybe artsy, artsy fartsy. So that's cool. Um, and then I got, I got this because I was just putting all the stuff in there, and it says made in France, whatever it is. But again, I thought you know it'd be a cool little prop. What is it? Okay, it's, a, I mean, is it a candle? No, because this part is pushed up. So this part is like pushed up. So it couldn't really be a candle holder because the candle wouldn't stay put unless you're melting wax and putting it on there and then it's, and then it's got a little handle. A wire, a wine sipper, is it? Ugh, maybe, could be. An ashtray? I mean, would you be putting your thumb where the thing, I mean, I don't know. Okay, I will look it up. It is made in France. All right, next up, the, again, this was all 30 bucks for this. Um, so right, I'm, that's what I'm bougie bear, that's what I'm talking about. I'm finding such cool stuff that I don't normally find, right? Very artsy, different, well-traveled people. So here are these earrings, aren't they cool? They look like so. Let me grab one just to show you so I can back it up. Looks like this. And then they are marked 925 on the back. You think it's a crumb catcher for sweeping crumbs? Oh, that would make sense because they have those little flat things that they, at the fancy restaurants, and then they would, maybe. I like it. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I'm because we're in an apartment complex. So it's very likely that somebody's wondering what I'm doing. I don't even care. I'm talking to my friends. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Um, yeah, these are gonna sell for good money. I've got to see what I think those. This up here is like really blue and sparkly, so I'm not quite sure what that is. But these, the the orange part may be like a carnelian, but there's some banding. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna have to look a little closer. I don't know if you can see that. When I say banding, I mean like stripes of different colors. I'll have to get a better picture. Uh, yeah. Okay, then more, we've got more. But wait, look at this, look at this, ready? Again, 30 bucks for all this that I got. This sort of seal ring, it's that intaglio style like where it's carved out. What are you? I think it's a horse. I think that's a horse. I think I was holding it wrong. Can you see it? Maybe this is where the light's gonna help. It won't focus though. Looks like a horse carved into this stone on this ring. Isn't that awesome? So there's that. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, so cool. Horse, ring. Looks like a seal, but it's not very deep. And then it's, you know, whatever metal it is is rubbing off the gold finish was rubbing off of it. There's no marks on it. I'm gonna have to do some digging because I've not picked up anything like this before. Okay, then there's, but wait, there's more. There is this ginormous brooch. Look at that. I got so, I know, right? This is why I still go out, even though I don't, I'm not listening. Because I would have just left all this out there in the wild. It would have been lonely and all alone. <laughs> so there's that. Look at that brooch. Isn't that cool? It looks like an octopus. Oh, you're right. Right? Good keyword. Yes, high end designer pieces, handmade. No, I don't think it's gold. You mean the brooch or the the ring? Because the thing with the ring, you can see where the gold finish is rubbed off on the back. So it's not gold. This one, no, I don't. That would be amazing if this was gold though, right? It definitely is really old. I can, like the stones that they've chosen, you know, the um, they're cut really, I don't know how else to describe it, but they seem like way vintage in their cut. Or else I'm dreaming. Okay, then I got a couple earrings, some silver, hang on. These are just some silver loops, wide facets, yeah, for sure. Um, and these are marked 925. Oh, there's a dude, oh, he's blind, it's cool. We're cool, he's got his walking stick with him. And then some big pearl ones. Isn't it great? Thanks, Impromptu. <laughs> Thank you. Um, got some more, still going. So then there's this bracelet, it's leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. And it says Vince Camuto, which I don't know, I'm finding new people that I've never heard of. So Vince Camuto, do you think it was meant to, I think so, like for sealing a wax something, only it's really not, it's really um, shallowly carved, that's the only thing, so I'll have to find out. Um, is this a good designer brand? Oh good, I almost left it, because I was like, eh, I'm getting a lot, yeah. So Vince Camuto, and it's in, I mean, just like almost never worn condition. It looks perfect. And we're still going. Okay, I already showed you that. We are still going. We've got this. Oh, really? Bracelet is so cool. Vince Camuto has some amazing purses. Sweet. All right, then this brooch. Some of the yellow enamel has scraped off, but I just thought it was really, really pretty. So I got it anyway. We'll see. It might still do well. Or it might end up in a lot. We'll see. Oh, there's a maker's mark. Oh, uh, what does that say? Something dome. Mendome? Nendome? I can't really read it. So, so, like, here's the deal. With some makers, they're so collectible that even with damage, they could still sell. Vendome. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll have to find out if this... See, these are some makers that I've never... This is the best. Like when you go out and you're picking up stuff and you're always learning something new. That's my passion, right? So Vendom. Um, so whether this is a, a maker where it won't really matter, there's such a high um, collectability that, that the damage, I'll have to find out because there are some like that. 
Okay, so this fell out. These fell out of the green stuff. This looks like a little green bamboo. We'll see. I don't know. I know you. somebody was saying maybe it's jade. I'll have to find out. Then these really cool earrings. Never heard of Venom. Yeah, me either. So these are cool earrings. They feel like really good quality. I don't see any maker's mark on them though. Let me show you closer. One of them. They're really kind of Southwest look to them. Wait, wait till you see. See this? Like up here has got that kind of Southwest pattern. And then down here, it's really a Southwest look. They're really heavy and really kind of thick and well made. So I'm surprised that there's not a maker's mark because of the quality you know I'm look I'll, I'll look them over even closer later but I mean you ever find stuff like that where you're just like wow how is there not a maker's mark on this and then we've got two shell rings they remind me of Tori Birch but she's really good at marking her stuff right I'll look them I'll look them over again and see those are awesome okay so two shell rings that seals that I'm moving to Texas Mary says yeah so these are they've got the shells like so, can you see, there we go. Shell rings like that. But wait, there's more. We've got this cat. It, I don't know what it goes to, but it was a pewter cat. Maybe it had a loop on it here and was a hanging ornament or something. But you know, we're cat people. Well, I'm a dog person too, but whatever. Then let's take a peek. Here are these earrings. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Neville. Vendum was a division of Coro. It's considered high, very high end. Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. Whatever. Okay. So here are these. Again, kind of this tribal look. This may be like a carnelian. Uh, like so. And I'm trying to see what I think about this piece. If it's like a plastic. That shell ring is an operculum ring. Thank you. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. Okay. And I know I didn't pronounce it correctly. So I'm trying to decide if this is bone, plastic, or ivory. I don't, I don't see any kind of lines in it. So it might be bone or plastic. Hmm. Let me look at the other one. I've got a couple videos up if you're interested in finding out how to tell the difference. But I'm, I'm leaning towards plastic. Because I don't see any kind of like with the uh, ivory, it's got those shrigger lines. With the uh, bone, it'll have like little pock marks and stuff, sort of. I don't know how else to describe that. Oh, we got another little piece of something. Um, <laughs> isn't this fun? We've got some like I don't know if I have any of my my friends. I don't know if any of the uh, my admins are in here, but whatever. We'll take a time out. Watch me. Let me know who else needs a time out. There. Okay. Ta da! All right, next up, we have got this pin. I don't know what it, it represents, but it was just cool. So, and then a, yeah, my moderators, that's what I'm looking for. Um, another little close and A type deal. And. I think this might no nope, one more no that was the cat this is it then we have these earrings that look like maybe um what do you call it stained glass right so some little glass looking earrings like so Ta -da! I don't mind the trolls as long as they hit those thumbs ups <laughs> I don't care me one bit. Doesn't make me no never mind. Not one bit. Whatever. Um <laughs> they are in force today. This is fun. Okay, so that was the stuff. Oh, was it a brownie? Okay, Girl Scouts. Cool, cool. So let me know. Okay, this haul was phenomenal. Um, let me know in the comment section what your favorite piece was. And if you are out there finding stuff today because I need some human interaction, no. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you find and what your piece was from all. Because I got some good deals. And this is why I still go out. 
when I'm not listing. So, yay! I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Really. Okay. Let's see. You are out. Okay. I'm excited about it. Thanks, Impromptu Thrifter. And my husband, you know, setting up the printer. So, I'm getting my my stuff listed again. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, here we go. There we go. Um, what else? I was going to tell you something. Oh, yeah, yeah. So today, I was planning on doing a video sharing how I organize my jewelry. So I'm going to probably do that Monday because Sunday is normally my week in review. So, uh-oh, banana. So, yeah, that was your favorite piece, the Alaska? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, so, yeah, I, I've got it coming, My how I organize my jewelry, and also how I'm going to handle shipping, because I have most of my stuff packed up in a pod right now. So, But I did, I have a strategy, so I will get, get to you with that. I'm trying to decide if I should do it in two separate videos, probably, probably two separate videos. Okay. I will see you guys later. Go down there and hit the thumbs up. That's your uh, your ticket out today. And in the in the ride along, I kept calling you guys treasure bugs because I felt like I was a treasure bug today. I don't know. Just anyway, have a good day, treasure bugs, and I'll see you later. It sounds like sugar bug. Like you're loving on them, right? Like your kids, like sugar bug. Love you, sugar bug. All right, <laughs> all right. Bye, treasure bugs. See you later. <laughs> Let me see if I can turn this off. Have a good day. Bye, guys.